the scenes that characterize the country's capital city for the better part of yesterday. A standoff that kicked off from the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, where scores of national resistance movement supporters had defied police orders to welcome back their leader, Rai Laudinga, who was jetting back from a 10 day tour of the United States of America. <laughs> The deaths, injuries and destruction or looting of property that characterize the city, fanning fresh embers of political fireworks between the government and the opposition. President Uhuru Kenyatta, his deputy William Ruto and a host of Jubilee leaders who attended the burial of the immediate Nyeri governor Dr. Ahome Gakuru, blaming Odinga for the chaos that struck the city. The people who think they can use intimidation and chaos and violence to, to further their political agenda, we want to tell them they will not succeed they will actually fail and fail miserably. We will not, we will never succumb to intimidation or violence or blackmail. Mimi mwenyewe kama rais, nilifuata sheria, ata kama mimi nilikuwa nimeona nimekosewa. Sasa jameni wengine, silazima pia wafuate sheria na katiba. Police confirmed five deaths, though the NASA leadership insists the number was triple. While the law enforcers claim the deceased were looters who had been killed by mobs, Odinga insists the victims were the latest casualties of state brutality, a position dismissed by the Jubilee Brigade. This needless brutality and the deaths yesterday show us all once again that this Jubilee regime opposes democratic choice as it cannot compete against the rest of us. As leaders, we must be contented for what God made us to be. If God designed you to be president, be contented. If God designed you to be an opposition leader, be contented and be faithful in what God has given you. This is a question we need to put to Raila Odinga. How many lives do you want to see lost and property destroyed for you to reach where you want to reach. Juzi niliona wanasema wanataka kubadilisha mifumo ya uongozi ya Kenya. Ya kwamba hii presidential system imekuwa ngumu yeye kuwa rais. It's not the system of government. It is the voters, millions of them in Kenya who don't want to elect you. The political standoff between Jubilee and NASA emanating from the contested August presidential race and the repeat state house contest last month that was boycotted by Odinga is affecting the economy and fanning ethnic tensions amid calls for dialogue to end the stalemate. The hardline positions adopted by the two political opponents and their supporters posing questions on the state of the nation. We have a constitution and we are a nation that is governed by rules and laws. And we must all abide by it. And asking people to respect that is not going overboard. And we shall demand that we must continue to be a nation that is guided by our constitution and that lives within the rule of law. Maandamano yafanyike kwa njia ya amani. Maandamano ya kuibia wafanyi biashara kuchoma magari ya watu kupiga magari ya watu wengine mawe hayo si maandamano let us be clear the prolonged political and economic crisis that we have been living with for months now is the responsibility solely of the jubilee regime's actions yesterday it was brought it, it brought nairobi's economy to a standstill preventing workers traders travelers and students from going on with their normal lives. Uongozi wa fujo na vita na kugawanyana na chuki 
haitaweza kupatia mtu yeyote kitu chochote ile inaweza kupatia mtu yeyote nafasi ni sera na kuongea na wananchi wa Kenya that the country is in a dicey political situation is not in the country the back and forth between politicians from across the political divide raising questions on the state of the nation all this as the country awaits the supreme court verdict on monday on the presidential election petitions francis gashuri citizen weekend nyeri county